Hola, por favor, and welcome to your daily dose of Fortnite. Today I'm going to be talking about a design chat that Epic just released on Reddit. Um, I will put a link to this design chat in the description of this video if you want to read through it yourself. Um, but it says, basically, they're going to be releasing weekly horde challenges. Um, it says, we want to give a sneak peek into what's coming up for Challenge the Horde from now until the end of Season 5. Um, and I checked Battle Royale. The end of Season 5 says it's in 52 days, which is about the week of September 24th. Um, they're going to be releasing a series of weekly horde challenges, um, providing a different gameplay experience each time. Um, one of these weekly challenge missions will appear in the horde area set at a difficulty appropriate to your storm shield progress and the challenges will have specific modifiers encouraging the use of a variety of play styles each challenge will reward you with something awesome such as heroes weapons or seasonal gold the first time it's completed followed by a repeatable quest that grants event tickets um, so it says the first weekly challenge will appear in update 5.2 that is going to be next week uh, probably I don't know Tuesday or Wednesday and um, it'll say it's gonna run through the end of season 5 so that's pretty much confirms challenge the horde is gonna be around for at least another month and a half almost two months seems like the first challenge it says it's gonna put you up against increasing numbers of mini bosses in each wave um, with the release of the version 5.2 content update the following week the first challenge will go away and a new challenge will appear. The second challenge features bulletproof enemies that must be defeated with melee weapons, traps, or hero abilities. So it says these are just a few of the many challenges we'll be creating over the rest of the season. As always, thank you for playing and we're looking forward to hearing what you think. So a few thoughts about this as I read it, just um, first blush, I would say that it sounds a little disappointing to me. I mean, it's a good idea having the weekly challenges, something to bring you back into Challenge the Horde. I know a lot of people have stopped playing Challenge the Horde just because, like, I've gotten Challenge 50 done. There's no more rewards for me to do it, any big rewards. I mean, you get the tickets from doing um, one mission, but I can go and farm normal missions to get tickets as well and get the birthday cakes in those. Um, so to know it's going to be around for another 52 days or so, um, means the road trip events probably going to be around for 52 days hopefully i'm wrong in that hopefully they'll come out with more stuff to spend tickets on um, because i think most of us have pretty much everything we want out of the road trip llamas and if the birthday llamas are going away um, there's really not any reason to hoard your tickets so hopefully this means that they will be coming out with a new event sometime in during this time and it'll just have Challenge the Horde available as well as a game mode while the new llamas come out. But it is going to be pretty disappointing if the road trip event lasts for 52 days um, with the same weapons and heroes available, in my opinion. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that um, Epic had just released this information. Let me know what you guys think about it, um, what your thoughts are. And um, as always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I release a new one. But other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.